Let's go, part 71. Uh, I played this game too much now. You know, I, I have been trying to finish it as soon as possible for a while now. I, I collected all this secondary stuff before really focusing on the story. Now it seems the man calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. And I, I keep saying there's not much left, but there, there keeps being <laughs> some more alliances. I probably will eventually finish Nikolai and whatever this other yes, yes, one other DLC is he's talking about. All have such good now, this one, this These new visions of Odin trouble me. Am I alone in seeing them? Or do the tales of Svartalfheim hold some other meaning? Svartalfheim. The Wolfgar! So glad to see you. Randvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid. Holger stirring the pot once again. Then Holger. Are you certain judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Judge Judy. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. You will state your cases, and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. Gudrun. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced, with scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You are well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you will be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return? Exactly. Yes. All right, I have heard full of shit. I might have profited I think I said the last time. Hog has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought... It is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? What you refuse to Gudrun do. Are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. Oh, you I heard you refuse. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear Skald? My Jarl, as I was saying, Stop! I was... Enough! 
I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I've known you, Holge, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and you lose the minds, the minds of men. You weaken the minds of children. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holge the liar, you sink lower. You become Holge the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 Selthoths. 30 times? Surely you jest. That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay pranks, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is- Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd is our Jarl. His decision to make. His word is law. Whether or not you agree. You see? Of course, my all. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> I wasn't even listening, actually. I was looking at a text. Uh, did he say 30 silver? It's not that much. Oh, map room. These new visions of Odin. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a sign? Rarely. There have been moments when he was- Let us do our best for him as we take care- If it is not in the meantime. I entered Jovik's Shire to meet Halfton Jarl. And I left a friend of Hafton the king. We have an oath. Good. These new visions of Odin. Why do you say this every single time, Eivor? What with the tales? Ah. Uh, I want to see the alliance. I don't want to do any of that romance stuff. So. It might have been a bad idea starting it in the first place. These are all done, right? Yeah. I only have two options right now. And yeah, it looks like they're gonna be the last two. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. These new visions of Odin trouble me. Am I alone in seeing them? Or do the tales of sp Oh, uh, I don't know why I have to go here. Perhaps Actually, I wasn't listening at all. by the fire. Gather my thoughts for a moment. Oh, why am I in the fishing boat? This one begins and all. This is true happiness, isn't it, men? Life in the rough. You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it. Ode to a hungry flame. Another skald come to join us. Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no skald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your mead. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. 
You are talking with him now, and you are. Ah, oh, by God's blood, my day begins with a lash of good fortune. I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. The elder men in Mercia are as changeable as the seasons. Why should we care what happens to your father? Someone will take his place. Because my father is honest, and a friend to all people, Saxons and Danes alike. If you offer an alliance in good faith, he will honor it. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. Oh, hey, Hippo. I will plunge Entertain into you. the heat of battle to defend uh, my father, knowing our cause we? is a righteous one. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I know how to set All that right, up. All right, young lord. My clan has need Quick of hold. me just now. Okay. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of a shield wall, but there will be danger. <laughs> I I, can I even word. do a poll? Thanks for a ginger man. I just noticed. I, I have no idea what that does, but yours to abuse. it's something new to me, so I appreciate that, that. I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston, to the uh, northeast. I can do a quick From poll there, we shall make our and way to state Luke. my question. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I guess we could try that. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Shark started. Lay upon walls. Where are you working? Are you working from home? You're screwing on your phone in the factory floor or something like that. Work from home, nice. That's, that's the way to be. I work in a uh, Amazon fulfillment center, and uh, people are on their phones all the time. But it's probably usually just texting and not watching live content. Most people aren't that bold. What do you see? <laughs> Approximately eight hours. Eight official hours. This is Humboldt's safety. Okay, people are freaking out for some reason. Who is this stranger? Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me. One of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family. The house of the ferocious swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Humboldt. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and... It's a bar and they're drunk off their ass the by 10 a.m. the spark to my tinder. 
Hunvald, your father's ill, and your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan, or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Watery course, piss. my friend. I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln, away, but with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. Like these two? Lump of lard. A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I'm Norse. I tell you people. You're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in. My heathen face. Do not fuck with me. <laughs> Have you ever seen a blood eagle, my Saxon friends? You can't not choose that up. A blood eagle. A raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First, I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings, so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus fucking Eden. Fucking Eden. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like... Watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. This guy seems like trouble. He seems like a schemer who attracts a lot of trouble. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions, I'd warn that stupid boy. I'd be the most written about man in history. Alfgar, the Burrish Nag of Lincolnshire. <laughs> I told Hunwald to stay near. Uh, Where did he wander off to? Is he. Oh. <laughs> Do not fuck with me. Leave him be. I didn't mean to do that actually. I tried to counter it, but I accidentally pressed one for kick it here. I live! I am alive! Heaven have mercy! <laughs> Good Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Bottleston will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Humboldt, we? are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status uh, as a nobleman held some sway my over kitty? the chairs and serfs of this shire? What cause have any oh, okay, to dishonor gonna... me? Right, bitch. Look, boats there. We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the. Sh uh, where are we going? Oh. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of sail. nonsense. That's quite I a fast. screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky. Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Big. We're supposed to kill those bricks. 
Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No. Yes, hey, Karen. The order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders. Here's the cauldron of my present sorrow. Yep, interrupting the dialogue. What was that? Dear Reagan hair, body and soul, tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Have you looked for him? Oh, I dare not go asking after him, for fear of stepping above my caste. But he'll be in good hands, don't you worry. Up there with the abbess and her sisters and all. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Escort Hunwold to the town hall. Okay. Who was that fellow? Reagan hair? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to that guy. He helps run the place, <laughs> oh, he and up. he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch oh, of his soul. more goons over here, probably gonna have to kill. Doesn't get old. Place to trade. Does it? The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread, poultry, and field fruits. Ah, oh, there's so many chickens I have to kill. Oh, oh shit! They got hit on. Do something. Oh, okay. Not really expecting. Shot you in the foot till you died. I suppose this is where our servants oh. purchased them. What? You're not. It was ours as well. How often did you leave your house in malls? Oh, from time to time. Yes. Hey, fellas! Fula! Herevrith, 
Tell Lord Hunbeor his son has returned. My lord, you're well. Lord Hunwar, you should have sent forewarning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. <coughs> I'm not the one who's... I'm farm. not the Dane who's been plowing, and I don't own a farm. I know you mean well, Bishop, but there's no cause to insult Swanborough's honor. You leave my lady love out of this. Ah, your mystery Dane has a name. Sadly, the people of the Shire will hardly be comforted. Now that you have swelled your father's tolerance for pagans into a sin... I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That is all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed... What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Hunwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against a Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. Hunwald has seen the point of a dagger more than once this week. I'm only here to protect him. Your father was at my hospice for some days, and very well treated. But he left in secret. That's all we know. In secret? That's odd. He's not one to scurry about in the dark. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hunwald. We have searched high and low for him, but to no avail. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scaring thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Oh. What do you got for me, lady? Oh, come back. When did you last see the elderman? Leave us be. It is not your place to be asking such questions. Well, I am asking. If you don't answer, I'm gonna smash your face in. Okay, maybe not. Something on your mind. Eivor, I realize the strides you've taken to aid me. My oath to you will last an eternity. You'll owe me a blood oath when all our work is done. Blood? Dear Lord. Wait here till I return. Can your guards be through you, Henevrin? Can you tell me where the old one is? Our Lord is not a trained dog who speaks on command. My goodness. Blue! These people are not helpful at all. Fluga! Help, Lord! Help, Lord! 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 We should on love you! Fawn the apparatus! We should be rushing! Pray for us! Move Hunwald's father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Do you know where your elderman is? I can tell you a few things, but not here in the open. Follow me. Uh oh. That seems suspicious. No one's looking like. Okay, this guy's getting close. He's gonna spot me, actually. Okay, he turned. I disappeared, so you can't talk to me. And you forgot all about me that quickly. 
and earning your pay, sir. Oh, where'd that lady go? Is this her? Where's the Elderman? Did you see where he went? I, I don't know. Elderman who? Uh, sorry, I I'm busy. I lose track of that lady. Are you the head sister here? Aye. And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins, just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. Or a bathhouse, okay. That's not the one who told me to follow her, right? But there's someone else over here. Your quest indicator disappeared. <laughs> okay. Oh, why am I on? There you go. I was on the wrong shoulder for a moment. That was a little disorienting. Hey, Maya, what's up? That's a bottomless stomach, I see. Drink faster than me, you no. win the purse. There's drinking to be done. Who's with me? People just stand around looking for a drinking contest like that. Weren't wise to let those Mercians nobles use our tunnels, if you ask me. What choice do we have? At least this way, they'll leave us be. They killed one of their own. What's to stop them from splitting our skulls as well? Because they fear us, see? No one takes us for fools. You got it. I probably don't have to kill these guys. Remember, God punishes those who wish ill upon... Upon... Go on. Ill upon who? Eh? The righteous. Oh, sorry. Uh. I, I was miles away. What? <laughs> These tunnels run deep. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? Oh, oh, ah, damn it! What's wrong, sir? Oh, he's having a piss. I'm gonna wait for him to put his dick away. Is he ever gonna finish? Okay, get it. You're lucky you have a huge bladder, sir. across our routes. Can't piss from here to Bolingbroke without someone demanding some ungodly deal. All this traffic is there smuggling a difficult job. Never again will we bend 
to the mercy and crown. Is he gonna get over here? Oh, look at that guy, it's agile. Oh, we found the body. Oh, I didn't mean to do that for no reason. <laughs> okay. I was gonna find that body. That was unwise of you to go towards a whistling haystack. When's a whistling haystack ever good news? They're waking up simultaneously. on my corpse. That is so rude. Yeah, I'm gonna piss again. Regular chest with iron and leather probably. Yep. I can't forget that all too valuable fabric. I even get over there now, though. <laughs> Did I just look here? Yeah, it's, it's an empty corner. Um, I guess place is a little confusing. struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits didn't fare so well. cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the ultimate passed this way. I'm gonna come down the waterfall and get that key. <laughs> it's probably not safe. Okay, okay, that's fine. I know a lonely door that would love to meet this key. I didn't find all the clues, did I? Oh, over here. We're off from an onion sex because we passed through it. A Saxon nobleman paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbrook Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it didn't end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the Elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away. 
and headed east for Bolingbrock Castle. That's my best lead. That's my best lead. Do I want to fast travel? Uh, yeah, I might as well. It's going to take some time to get out of this thin sewer. Should I be sneaky? They here. Oh, they are respawning. Oh, I oh, big guy. Definitely. No, he did see me. Oh, there's so many people here. Way too short. You're going down. No, I'm not actually. How am I going to get in this fortress? Okay, this is a bit of a moat. I guess I'm going to end up assaulting this place at the end of the arc. <laughs> uh, is that the only way in? I'm going to assume yes. And go for drawbridge. Oh, something to read here. We're supposed to be at the wolves. 
Archer is in here I'm somewhere. Right track. That keep is well protected. Someone was just aiming at me. I don't see anyone that has a shot on me. Prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? This biscuit has been dry for some time, sister. This biscuit. How long has the Elderman been dead? <laughs> Dead is such a drastic word. I like to think of my lord as transformed. Transformed from alive to dead. That's not untrue. Have you need of anything? Why has your elderman's death been obscured? The people of Lincolnshire deserve to know his fate, Humboldt, above all. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret, until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I've seen all I need to, but Humboldt will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. Dried herbs and berries, crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is... longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. That ane ota is that we see free yiche. Each bide, each one, each me. I don't know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Genealogy, Vincent Kings. Baba. A box of musty clothing. And a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Humboldt and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. Foul. Rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. That's one way to look at it, take crazy care. lady. And you. I shall take you to your mind. Okay, to lunatic, I'm out of here. There, you may lay this out your Fast travel. Second. If they see me, this will get messy. <laughs> Father's dead. Wait, what? Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiot's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. 
He was strong. A picture of health. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... He... <laughs> oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer. Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son. Do not forget it. Keep steady, Hunwald. You're now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain. Last in a line of... dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly sobbing moon calf. You and silly you sobbing moon calf. <sighs> Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Hunwald was the son of an elderman. Will he take his father's seat? And the title is not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a Shiremoot. King Cheowulf must then ratify the decision. Cheowulf. Explain how this works, your Shiremoot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot. But between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. We have a similar custom, what we call an Althing, an assembly of good folk. With so many like habits, there should be peace between our people and yours. Yeah, we both have meetings, so let's now. be friends. Apart from Hunvald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. <coughs> Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we... Churlish. Passed. It's subordinate I and churlish. I treat you as my god commands. With kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes. Quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. With Hunbioth's death an open secret, Hunbioth's no, no, enemies may strike again. I don't have to kill every guard that notices me. Archer went to console him. I should follow him. Uh, there was just a quest indicator over here. She just had a quest indicator. Best of luck at the coming Shire mood, Bishop. I would tell you my fate is in the hands of our Lord, but somehow I believe that won't be the whole story. You fear something. I fear everything these days, in small doses. I fear everything. Uh, why don't I have any quest indicated? Where is Humboldt? Archer. I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. 
He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. What devil put you up to all this What deception? devilry is this? I wasn't put up, Eivor. I felt compelled to carry on for the good of the Shire. Until I knew the truth. A pretty answer for an ugly lie. A pretty answer for an ugly lie. Oh, you guys don't want to fight anymore? I thought you were tough, huh? What's going on? What's going on? Oh. Wait, there's... What is this one? Okay, I guess I'll do that on the way. friends now, so you can't get mad at me for bumping you. Uh oh. Well, Wolf wants a piece. Ah, oh, I got you, dummy! Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You're flush with land and crops, to be sure. You're a brave man to flaunt your riches from this lonely hill. It's not bravery, it's trust. I trust the respect I've earned keeps Saxon and Dane alike from temptation. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Uh, yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. It's a beautiful weapon. Finely crafted. Thank you. I thought you might like it. Now, now, take it and come, Heather. I have a rousing hunt plan for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shire moats. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your... Uh, uh, why'd we skip the little god, road there? Uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriv and Hunwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived. Not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Alfgard? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. The bear's lair. What's this? Ah, my old friend 
Grim. How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well. And itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right. Very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. I'm Norse, actually. Something you might learn by asking. Well met, Grim. Glad to have you along. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear. That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. Okay, I, I think we're not hunting. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. I've killed like a Let's dozen legendary animals. Shall I don't we? need help for a friggin' bear. There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. This is the threshold of the beast's home. There's no doubt in that. Something you'll want to see here. Um. Opal hiding under that rock. Uh, Hamlet's on fire. I can't talk to him. Yeah, knock them over. Am I supposed to just go over there? Nice. Wait, where's Grim? It says regroup with Grim. Oh, it's down here. Come on, Grim. Regroup. Here he comes. He really wanted Grim to hear him fire. say that. Eivor! You're skilled enough, and I can't tell you how to handle this, but please! My god, help me! What am I, a firefighter? With you. A clutch of puny mercy. chicken
Oh, it takes to save that guy. Oh, there's people way over here somehow. They don't even look like they're part of this. Oh, I burned to death anyway. Okay, got them all. Uh, speak to Elfger. He stayed way over here? What the fuck? He sees his estate burning and just watches. They could at least come to get a better view. I had some hang time there. The men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. These fi okay. those fires, the fires way over yonder. I wonder if he was supposed to actually go over to the place. What a mess! The sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Elfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. The bear? Sweet lord in heaven! The bear is returned! The bear's just chilling. It's already dead. What are you talking about? Be careful. There, you see? Didn't I promise you a rousing hunt? Brilliant. Simply brilliant. Is that all there is to do here? Probably. Okay, I, I, fast travel probably won't save any time, so I'm just gonna get up my fire cat. Oh, I whipped again. Okay. They get to live because I missed my explosive arrow. The second one was a regular arrow. An old tall tree. Oh, try this one over here. What a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Unbold. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate. Contemplate. Contemplate the view. Let's have a drink to the memory of your father. Go a sailing among the leaves so green. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness, but let your aching love light the meat of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting 
And I would catch the most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbiorth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. The wives are old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky, uh, uh, Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents oh, of I'm your drunk as a fucking skunk. It's okay. Firecat will do the steering. Before I let it pass, Humboldt. I spoke with Alfgard before this. He gifted me a weapon of your father's. Should I find that odd? Hmm, I'm not sure. They often went hunting together, so it's not strange that he should have something of my father's. You don't want it yourself, as a memento mori? No, no. You're better suited to such gifts. I'm a talker, not a fighter. Now come. And enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendorful, why come to England Splendorful. at all? Uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! Very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so. Quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish and experienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future. What was that? Who's that? Oh, I saw them. Has no one told them today? No, I saw is a day of grief. Squad. Uh, I showed up on Odin's side. Stop here. Something isn't right. Damn trees. I am sweating from pit to toe. Do not leave me here. Hush. Stay calm. Well, I only saw one. What is this? Oh, deers. Flipping through. Okay, well, that's probably not the threat. <laughs> Seeing any signs, they're not coming up on own side. Which tree? Which tree covered for Sunin? Oh, there you go. You'll get yours. Is that it? Uh... 
Oh shit, I just stepped on the guy. <laughs> oh, there's one. Now I'm getting some indicators where they are. Is this the last one? That probably wouldn't be way cooler if I got them all stealthily. They're just too hard to spot. The hard world somehow didn't get killed. And it was fighting one guy briefly, that, that guy I set on fire. That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed. We had luck. But if you're not more <coughs> careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away. I'm serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me. Unwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot oh, in the Shire. He's going yes. foot, even though he's Here I am horse. with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. Why don't you use your horse? It's, it's got nothing better to do. Here, the horse is insisting you ride. She's getting mad. Oh, thank the heavens! There she is! I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I am fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. 
You really have been courting a Dane. It's a side of you I didn't expect. People say we're an odd couple. I do not care much what people say. As every boat needs an anchor, every man needs his swan burrow. The light of my life. Eivor has been my champion as I stake my claim in Lincolnshire. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunvald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunvald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunvald, no. This shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Uh, Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. The Shire mood will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes. The Shire mood will start soon. I should return to Lincoln already to see in that it Lincoln goes well. Here. Archer, is everything ready? The Shire Moot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shire Moot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. <laughs> I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright, that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. Hunwald reckless. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. That wasn't helpful. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan oh, to, to its Hunwald. former glory. Bishop, Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. 
God go with you. No one's helping me make a decision. Go with Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Drenger. Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. Uh. Good evening, Elfgard. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It's a difficult choice, Elfgard. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. Move it, lady. I uh, cannot. There you go. How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this Shire. There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That's good to hear. Uh... Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Though tinged with arrogance, Alfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. I probably will go Hunwald. I think I like hair first. The bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety. But he is wisest of the three and has already proven himself. Humwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Lead your shire with pride, ferocious swan. It is decreed by this lawful shire moot that the elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hunfjord, Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, humbly. What more can I say? I... I don't know. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well, I will do my best for each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. As all well know, this shire 
Malamut's decision <coughs> is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Okay, the bishops of the sultan. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this child. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? Shink, shink, shink. Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! <laughs> what a prick. This one's gone. Find those who still draw breath. Polish your ass, Humboldt. The old oh, seat is yours. As your war council, I suggest you waste no time in catching this grief totter. You won't be far. We should first bury our dead, no? That choice is yours to make, Elderman. Yes. Yes, of course. We'll bury our dead, then raise a feared. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods protect you. Why do you have a speech bubble? Welcome to choose from. So many innocents cut down. Paraphrase the shitting The devil has enough out of Oh, some people just can't take losing. How many ancients do I even have left? Two? Three? Oh, uh, four. Okay. Oh, I could probably do that now. Take them. I have to do the story for that one. This one I can guess, I guess I can go and do right now. I know I'm taking a brief side off this quest. But I haven't killed someone, like, outside a quest for a while. There's been so many where you can only kill them when the story dictates. 
Pig. Oh, that was a, a zip line. Who we drunk? We gotta say I can kill her with this thing. Flat. Make it look like an X. The Archbishop never suspected my heresy. I kept secrets as I gathered believers. I appeared so pious my eyes bled for him. But I've never felt as much love for his god. Not like I do the old gods. The true gods. Our ancient creators. Your life was a lie, you mean. You threw your honor into the ocean. When I told the Archbishop my true belief, he was horrified. So I silenced him. That silence is for you now. There's only four left, and I can only kill them. Story. All of my sense is someone. Old attack and in broad daylight. The hatred that. What news, Humboldt? We've learned that Herevrith rode for the fort at Anicastri following the massacre. I have assembled a fiat there. Quite a large one, in fact. They eagerly await your orders, Eivor. You mean your orders, Selderman? Ah, yes, that's right. My orders. Which are. Which are what exactly? Who can say? Ride with me to your camp and we'll find out together. Herivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. 
He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? That's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Herifrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft. But stranger still, I've met so few Christians like him. <laughs> Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The den of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Acha taken all this? She and Herevrith were so close. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. A poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low, but her work carried on. I think she'll be fine. Manipulated by a man who should be God's gladdener. Here's the camp. We are the men of Lincolnshire. Remember it. My ancestors fought with the old kings of Lindsay. It's for their memory we fight today. King of Lindsay? Our warsmith has arrived. The Feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Avel, can we win this fight with the men you see assembled here? If they fight with the bravery of double their number, we may. And is there room in your Valhalla for a ferocious swan? Of course. Let fly your glorious banner. Are we ready then? We attack now. Ready the Feard. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Really? Breach the wall, then fight the troops inside. Imagine that. The best way to reach is with a battering ram. Iron cap. Should help it along. Oh, there's boiling oil up there. Uh, do I want to go off this? I think I do. I think they just respawn anyway, so it doesn't matter how many people I kill on the walls. to get in the room.
right, this is one I might be able to blow up with. Oh. Both one of these. Yes. Dude, I was doing something. Close one, I almost fell in the moat. In a ditch. I don't know if it's called a moat when there's no water. A dry moat. Point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He he's he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scabrous coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. <laughs>
Oh. I don't think I can enter from the ground. Get him! Oh, okay, he's dead. I guess he's not a fighter, he dies in one hit. I think he's the only target. I died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I did baste myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Hiravrid. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. Is the siege over? I think it's usually over once you kill the target. Yep. Born of wealth. Oh wait, that's. Oh, he's the one I just revealed by killing this guy. Oh, I can go and get that guy. I don't have to wait for a quest event. I can do with him. Huh? Huh? Join? Yep, let's just go out this way. <sighs> Fuck, Eivor. No, oh, nice view. Eivor, is he... Is the bishop dead? He bled too little and talked too much. Now he's gone. I won't miss him. But Atcha will need some time to grieve. Fought well, ferocious swan. Notched a few scars in your baby fat today. Yes, but they will heal. And stronger than before. Lincolnshire is yours to lead, Elderman. The hardest fight begins now. The din of battle still rings in my ears. I think I now know what it means to be a leader. Good. I would ask a favor, if I could. Name it. Oh, it's raining in here. As Elderman, my life may be a dangerous one. For a time, anyway. Would you allow my Swanborough to take refuge in your settlement? At least until I feel all danger has passed. We'd be happy to have her. Thank you, my sturdy Norse berserker. The mead halls of my shire will be lonely without you stomping about. Our people are bonded now. We must look out for one another. Blast it. I am a horror with goodbyes. 
It'll do for now. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Actually, I want to kill this guy. Witnesses. Okay, you're just peacefully playing your leer, and I'm gonna stab you. You won. I can see defeat. When Scops mention Scops. me, they will sing of my conquests. Cowards do not get sagas. I am no coward. In a long lost battle for Wessex, I was the victor. The Scop could speak of that time. Focus on my lost honor. No, I'll leave your reputation as it is. Here, in the blood blackened mud. <laughs> That's kinda cool. Okay, so there's what, two? Two. Okay, let's uh... Follow the part of GG71. 